Welcome back again to there we go. Dark Heresy and Strafe. Congratulations. Ah. We're all back in Dark Heresy. Huh? Last we we were at, again, uh, Joanna was waiting for Marcus in the square to get a audience with Tempest. See what what's going on, what the what is. Um, Flint was in the entrance of the maze trying to get criminal contacts, and the rest of you all went to Tax House because... As funny as it would be, you didn't want Blank's head to explode in front of you when Tempest found him. That is true. So, that's where we're at. Who wants to go first with their stuff? It's about three in the afternoon now. You guys have all had a very fun day. Of witch hunting, going to churches. Going to churches? Usually yeah. those two go hand in hand. Yeah, pretty much. Um, well, since I'm not going to do anything particularly interesting <coughs> for a while, I'm going to search around for small pieces of wood, and yeah. How long are you going to spend? Two hours. All right, perception plus. Uh, let's go with thirty for you. This is probably a pretty simple task. One might even say trivial. <gasps> you found a piece of wood. We'll get back to you wood. in two hours when you <laughs> yeah a piece of wood. How big is the piece of wood? <laughs> you only got a half a success, that, all right? That is a good question. How big is a piece of wood? Uh, yeah, let's roll for it. It is a basically a six foot by six foot panel. A very I'll nice take, wood. I'll, I'll take that. Fuck yeah, that was two hours worth. I can break that. That's a half a degree of success. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. And a good roll from me. Oh. Take it. Way to go, Devin. Fucking. I, I thought I had the specs. Everything up for me. <laughs> All of my anger. <laughs> Alright, so he's busy for the next two hours. Cool, uh, cool. Merc. Sal, since you guys are near him, what do you guys want to do? Oh, that's right. We were walking back with him when he randomly decided to go off into the wood to find the woods. That one. Yep. I got I got us to make money somehow, and I'm going to make that money soothing, so... I'll try to find work as well. Okay. Uh, what kind of work do you want to look for? As a copier. A copyist? Mm -hmm. uh, where do you want to look for it? Just in the downwind or the bazaar or somewhere else? Yeah, the bazaar. The bazaar? All right. Uh, roll... Uh, perception. Uh, you're gonna take two hours as well. Alright, roll perception plus, let's say, 20 again. And see if you find any work. Nope. Also, change your name to. Oh, yeah, switch character. your name over. Thing to your character's name. Merc, what are you doing? So, Joanna went off for the meeting, right? Mm hmm. Okay. I don't know where. Uh, Flint is, and Blank just walked off into a field, and <coughs> Salamander's Blank, gonna go do. Blank's the, just walking through the downwind. Oh, looking for wood. wood. Mm. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna join him, and I'm also gonna look for wood. So, Good. I'm gonna spend those two hours looking for wood with him. All right, you get double your findings for that. Sweet. Okay. So I'll you don't have. Half. Six by six, six by six, two six by six panels of wood. Congratulations. Flint, what do you want to do? I want to talk to more people. Cool, who do you want to talk to? Try to find a job. I don't know, someone shady looking. Okay. <laughs> someone who's just like on the wall, just kind of, you know, creeping. All right, well, there's a lot of people in this area that are just hanging out kind of on the wall. Just creeping? Just, just hanging out, just looking around, sizing things up. Alright. Eating some fish. Ooh. Ooh. I like these people. They eat fish. Alright, so yeah. I'll just uh, just uh, walk on up to some of them. Right, you approach a, a fairly muscular man who's uh, just hanging out on a wall. Oh, hi Ronnie. Looking around. What's up? No, his name's not Ronnie. <laughs> now he's very mad at you. So... <laughs> After these two hours that he just spends staring at this man on the wall. Yeah, come back to me. Do. 
Uh, you ought to make it seem like he's saying very slanderous things to this person at the wall eating fish. No, he just, he, he literally walked up and said, hi, Ronnie, and then just stared at oh, the dude. And, and you should make Ronnie like some sort of slur. <laughs> Anyways, now that it is 5 p.m., what do you guys want to do? Um... Oh, wait, we didn't get to Joanna. Joanna! Yeah! Sorry. You. Uh, Gotta speak up, boy. man. Eh. Uh, not paying attention. What's You are in the square, courtyard, just hanging out. What do you feel like doing? See here, the time for the appointment is what? Four? Five? Yeah, they just said uh, late in the afternoon. That was the descriptor. It wasn't like a specific time. Oh, boy. Okay, in that case... I want to find this guy. Okay. So you just you just want to look through the guards, or do you just do you want to go up and ask? How do you want to go I'm about gonna, finding him? I'm gonna ask around. Okay. You once again approach the uh, the marble steps to the uh, governor's palace, and are again stopped, and asked what you want by a gruff-looking guard. <coughs> I, I, t I tell him I had uh, a appointment with Tempest. Want to know when that's going to happen? An appointment with Tempest, you say? Yes. Uh, very well. Uh, give me a moment, and he, he runs up the uh, staircase and gets a uh, superior officer who comes back down, who is, in fact, not Marcus, some other man. And he looks you over and says, Yes, what do you want, lady? Yeah, I'm arbitrator Joanna Esker. I have an appointment with Tempest. I want to know when I can see it. You have an appointment with with Tempest. Very good. Um, and an arbitrator. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Did you happen to come by the... Uh, or did you happen to come on the same ship as the, the, witch, the witch was? Not a witch, but yes. Not a witch? Not a witch. Ah, I... I see, I must have been very misinformed. Fully, uh, he's a fully ordained Imperial Faker. Oh, I see. That's, uh... Very interesting. Uh, give me one moment, ma'am, and he... He runs up the steps. <laughs> as well. Um, a few minutes later... Marcus walks down... Pretty sure you told him your name. Joanna! Uh, glad you could come. Unfortunately, Tempest is very busy today, uh, but he has agreed to see you guys uh, tomorrow. He already said that he would see me just the day before. I'm afraid I can't put this off much longer. Yes, well, uh, I'm sure you must have heard, but uh, recently there's been an... Uh, um, a very large fire up in the uh, the farms and the granary, and that that has taken some priority, as well as this this witch hunt he has us on. Uh, so, <coughs> unfortunately, it will be another another day's wait. But there was a fire. Yes, haven't you heard? There was a fire up in the granary, up in I the have farmlands. Not, have not heard this. Ah, yeah, it was it was very large. We lost a uh, three weeks crop. To this. And what exactly is you doing about it right now? I'm sorry, can you say that again? I didn't hear you. What exactly is you doing about it right now? <clears throat> well, right now we're trying to simply ascertain if it was deliberate or an accident and uh, punish those who are responsible. Well, tell him if he agrees to see me today, he'll have my assistance with that. Uh, I will pass that along. And he, he walks back up the, uh, the staircase. And, uh, so, uh, Flint, we'll jump to you now, <coughs> as you've been because staring at this gentleman. For two hours? No. And have only said, hi, Ronnie, to him. He walked up to some gentleman and said, hi, Ronnie, and then proceeded to stare at him for a few minutes. Good. He That's looks exactly very, very concerned at you. <laughs> um, alright, so, uh, so yeah. <coughs> Hi, I'm, 
I'm looking for some specialized work. Specialized work? Yes. He, he looks you over. Uh, well, you do seem like a man who can handle himself. What kind of work are you looking for? Um, work with a little... A little, uh, boom, if you know what I mean. I think I may. Um, what is your name, sir? Flint. And I extend my hand to shake his. And he, he what takes, is yours? He takes your hand and grasps it in a very crushing grip. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um... And who do I have the pleasure of meeting? My name is Tybalt. <laughs> I am a tech priest. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. Uh, I should really have the name generator up. Name things, generator. Things that would be smart for <clears throat> me to do that I forgot to do today. Good. Yeah. Where are my notes? There they are. Is Malus down again? I'm on it right now. Yeah. It went down earlier today, so... Uh, well, this is fun. My name is Bones, he replies. Good. Pleasure to meet you, Bones. Doctor. Yep, that, uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you're you looking for some work. Do you have any, uh, skill? Yes, but I'd rather discuss this in a more private area. Well, there is... Oh, God. Two seconds. I didn't think we were going here this soon. Oh, no. Oh, no. Things. Richard has to do things. Things and stuff. Oh, God. And I might as well bring up the name generator now while I'm here. Yeah! <laughs> Yes, I can close Steam. Well, if uh, you'd prefer, we could uh, meet up a little and a little bit at the uh, Vulgar Unicorn and... Uh, the Vulgar Unicorn. <laughs> discuss your helping us out uh, more privately. Excellent. I'd like that. He he gives you directions into the, uh, into the maze as to where to reach this place. Uh... Be careful, there are, uh, a few unsavory types, but meet me there in three anything. hours. Sounds good. Alright, so, Joanna. Yes. Um, Marcus comes back down. <coughs> he looks a little bit peeved. Uh, and motions for you to walk up the stairs toward him. I'll follow. Uh, unfortunately, Tempest is no longer in the palace. Uh, if you would like, uh, I've been cleared to give you details of what we have found out about the granary situation for you to help us. Uh, perhaps when he gets back from uh, the, the northern farms, he will be able to uh, speak to you. I'm afraid that's the best I can do. Well, don't have anything better to do with my day. Let me see what you have. Uh, he, he takes you into a, a small room just outside the palace that looks like, obviously, a, a little guard tower. Uh, in it are a few bunks and a, a, a dusty desk. On the desk are a couple of data slates. He hands you the data slates to show you that they, uh, <laughs> they have found that there's two fires that were both started or they're not sure how they started, but two separate and distinct fires started, one in a main silo and another in the fields, though their cause is yet unknown. Uh, beyond this, there are several reports of uh, farmhands and uh, miscellaneous workers and the owner of the farm himself uh, claiming that they had no knowledge of uh, anything in their reports of first seeing the flames and how they attempted to put them out. Right, has the uh, actual scene of the fire been like 
Tempest investigated it? Uh, no, Tempest was on his way to go and see if he could uh, discover anything uh, from the scene. It has been cordoned off, but uh, we have no detective or, you know, no officer reports on the scene. Only that which we have gathered from those who are working there. And this is everything you have so far? Yes. Well, sounds like I have a square one. I'm gonna flip it over to the uh, field. Alright. He, he gives you directions to the greenery area, and uh, you take off, heading over there. Uh, so, now two hours have passed. Who wants to go? Blank, Merc, what do you guys want to do? Let's start with you guys. I don't really care where I go at this point in time. I'm basically just not going anywhere alone, so... Okay. Oh, Malus might be down. Yeah. Um... If memory serves, um, Merc has a knife, correct? I yep. do have a knife. I also have uh, scraps of uh, leather and cloth that I can use to uh, tie or bind our wood together if we need to in any sort of fashion. Or just uh, for grips. <laughs> no, for me, I, I, I just need to borrow the knife to carve the wood. That's that a shouldn't blank be asking me. Mm -hmm. Oh right. Uh, well, how close are we to tax house? How close do you want to be? You guys were just walking the downwind. You can say you're next to it now. Oh okay. Um, all right. So I'll I'll turn to Merc. Uh, Merc, we found these great pieces of wood. This 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 will be handy for soothsaying but I only need a chunk probably about the size of my hand. What do you need a chunk the size of your hand for? Just a Sorry, that's supposed to be in character. Well, yeah, you, like, what specifically, forsooth yeah. saying, do you need a piece of wood the oh. size of your hand? That's what he's Sooth asking. Oh. I, uh... One of the ways that we can predict the future is with uh, rune stones, but uh, I'll be able to do this <coughs> out of wood. Seems like an odd leap from rune stone to a chunk of wood you found lying in the street. Wood will work just as fine. I can age it just as well. Alright, so where do I come into this? Uh, just need to borrow the knife to carve runes and then to just chuck my piece of wood out. 30 armed men notwithstanding, nobody touches this knife but me. Tell me what you need done. Thanks. <laughs> um, let's at least start by uh, cutting out a piece of wood that's about the size of my hand. I can do that. Do I need to make any kind of skill test for this? No, you guys just... Uh, it'll take you about a half an hour to whittle that down. Okay. Like, so I mean, what to skip to somebody else? Yeah, no. unless you want to... I mean, we can banter for a bit. <laughs> no, I mean, if you guys want to just, like, basically get through this part of, like, whittling it all down. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he, he basically... He cuts out a couple of pieces that are about the size of your palm. And hand them over to you. Whatever I don't use, well, sorry, not whatever I don't use, but alongside carving out his things, any scrap pieces that seem like they would be too small for anything else, once we're done, I'd like to whittle them to a point. Okay. So, just to make makeshift shivs stabby stuff. type shivs. For, stabby type things. <laughs> I was going to say stabby type things, but he said shivs, and that sounds a lot more yeah. professional. Good. So yeah, he, he gives you a, a couple of pieces that are about the size of your palm after, say, oh, let's go with like 10 minutes because that really wouldn't take that long. Okay. And then, uh, now at this point, I, I need you to then cut the pieces into, 
Let's go with like a twice the width of my f my thumb. Separate? I'm um, wait. Sorry, are you is blank asking? Or are you telling me? I'm telling you. You guys don't have to role play this. You can just tell them what you need exactly. Okay. So yeah, I, I'll make that. I guess. So is he just gonna carve all of the rune for you? He's basically? not gonna let me use the knife, so yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll yeah. do it whatever he needs me to do. I'm just not gonna let him touch my knife. Okay. So yeah, then after a half an hour, he completely makes the sets of runes that you need. Cool. <clears throat> all right. We'll jump to Sal real quick. So now you are in the bazaar. You yes, have not found bazaar. work yet. Well, even though I haven't found work, I would like to talk to some of the local people in the bazaar and uh, figure out what's going on. What are some of the local topics? All right. Uh, roll inquiry uh, plus ten, just because. Well, wait. How first? How long do you want to spend? Just talking like talking an, an hour, I guess. Shooting gossip. All right, then. Yeah, inquiry plus ten. inquiry. How do I roll it? Click just the, the number. Oh, the number? Okay. Got it, thanks. Uh, you hear some local gossip, most of it pertaining uh, to what happened at the uh, square today about the witch, a couple of people discussing the, the local fire that happened up at the granary and um, that they've seen uh, Tempest and a large contingent of men go up there and they're wondering what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, beyond that, you hear a couple of uh, just kind of joking stories about fishermen getting in fights and that kind of stuff. Okay. That's it for now. Okay. Joanna, you reach the farm and find uh, a very large uh, blackened uh, area of a wheat field cordoned off surrounded by guards uh, and across you can also see a, a granary that has obviously been thrown up in flames though it seems that the fire was put out without an immense amount of structural damage there's mostly just charring all around and uh, from the outside you can see that whatever was in there was obviously very very heavily burned as I said there are a very large amount of guards surrounding this all facing outward and you can see a couple of uh, more high-ranking officials walking between the two areas of the blaze. All right, I'm going to try to go towards the greenery and wait until someone tries to stop it. Uh, as you approach the greenery, about 20 feet away from it, uh, a guard just puts his hand up to your chest. Where do you think you're going, ma'am? Hold up my ID. Arbitrator Esker, here to assist with the investigation. Arbitrator? I didn't hear anything about an arbitrator. And he turns to one of his friends. You hear anything about this? And he goes off to find a, uh, another official who comes out quite promptly. Hello, you're an arbitrator? Yes. Oh, uh, I didn't realize we would be ha joined by someone like you. Um, have you been sent to help us ascertain the cause of the fire? I have sent myself. But yeah. Very good, and he, he leads you into the granary. Uh, from a primary inspection, all you can see is that there is uh, a few uh, levels to the granary, all with very heavily burned wheat and ash. Um, it's mostly a stone bottom foundation, but as you get higher, it's uh, very heavily wooded. <coughs> And uh, there's some, like, plascrete supports that go up. Alright. Um, I'm gonna take a look around the burn site to see if I can figure out specifically what's 
specifically what might have caused this. All right. And would you like to roll search? Sure. Roll a search at a plus 20. Cool. There's a one to pull up. Oh. Yes, you, uh... Your keen eye near instantly finds that, uh... The, the scorch, like, the patterns of the scorch marks on the ground all emanate from, uh... An area just inside the doorway. Uh, looking at it closely, uh... You see, uh... Signs of, uh... Broken, uh, like, flint laying on the ground at this area. Right, is, the, is there any uh, of the officials that are here? That are, There's the, the man who came out. Uh, who led you in. Here. Right, uh, I asked for the official's name and who he is exactly. Uh, I am Jakati <coughs> Melinar, or Molinar, if you want to spell it that way. So what's your name, or what's your rank, Melinar? Uh... I am head detective of Tempest's Hellhounds. All right, and I assume you're the one that's uh, taking the closest look at all of this. Uh, yes. Besides Tempest himself, I am the one uh, in charge of this investigation. All right. What have you uh, deduced so far? Uh. Well, from looking outside, it appears that uh, the fire must have been a sort of arson, though we're not entirely sure if it was a farmhand or who would set fire to our grain. Uh, it appears that someone came in, set fire to the... or spent some time setting fire to the farm, and then came into the granary and set fire <coughs> here. Uh... I haven't quite worked out how they did it yet, but based on the patterns, it it appears that it was arson. And when I took a look at it, could I figure out what method they might have used to burn it all down? Um, yeah, you, you quite simply uh, deduce based on the flint that it was probably just flint and steel setting sparks. Well, from what I can tell, I don't know how long it would have taken them, but I think they used a basic flint and steel to do all this. Oh, yes. Um, that makes sense. You you show them the, the pieces of flint lying on the ground. Yeah. Yes, then, um... I can't believe I didn't see that myself. <laughs> is there anything else you've been able to uh, uncover, Arbitrator? This is all I've looked at so far. Oh, very well. Well, uh, thank you very much. If you figure out anything else, uh, please, your earliest convenience. Uh, if you'd like to look at the field, you are more than welcome to. And he, he motions, uh, pointing towards you, to the guards, that you're given free reign. All right. Do I think I've seen just about everything in the granary, or...? Yeah, you gave it a pretty extensive, uh, search, uh, after right. noting with 